What is up, y'all? Your boy is on his grind. One more time, I'm back at it again. On the sunny, sunny day again, man. I'm loving this weather. We're having some nice weather this next week or so, so I'm going to take advantage of it all, man. So as you can see, I got the... Uh, the rim off the escalade here if you didn't watch my or actually i posted it in my community post so this rim had like a lot of brake dust and brake metal particles on it from uh that right rear i'll show you here over on the uh escalade so if you can see the rims off so the right rear passenger side and um i think it had been wearing long enough that metal shavings shape uh basically kicked on the rim and i didn't do anything for it for a while i actually haven't been driving the car but since it kind of embedded itself in the rim it wouldn't come off and i tried to wash it i tried everything i tried a non scratch um pad with some solution try to get it off i got some of it off but not all of it off and in the meantime i think what happened was is when i was trying to get it off some of it that would come off actually when I was scrubbing probably embedded in the uh, rim and then scratched it. So there's scratches all over this rim now and it's probably my own fault. Maybe I should have researched on how to take it off. I really just thought it was like brake dust, but you know, I, I don't know y'all. So anyways, let me just show you here real quick. So if you can see right here, all those scratches. So those aren't supposed to be there, man. And it's like that on the whole rim. And it's probably me trying to clean it and then the uh the dust particles probably caught and then scratched it all up man so which really really sucks because now i gotta paint a whole rim but uh it should be fairly easy i talked to my buddy who's actually painting my chevelle and he said if, if you're just gonna repaint it black and they're just surface scratches you should be able just to scuff it with a red scotch right pad and then just lay some black over it and some clear you'd be good so i actually have some black and some uh clear wheel paint from my my regal when i painted those rims and so it should be pretty straightforward i'm just going to cover these up real quick with some tape and then just scuff the whole thing up and just shoot it real quick so anyways not like i have anything else better to do <laughs> but uh just thought i'd let you guys know give you some content on georgia since georgia hasn't had any love but we're about to make this happen So I'm back over here at the car here and I thought that maybe while I am doing the rim, I'll go ahead and go ahead and paint these calipers here. So while the rim's off. So I've already cleaned up all the calipers all the way around. Uh, that way when, I, when I'm when i ready to do the brakes, I could just shoot them uh, with some paint. So I just thought I'd just clean them up, especially with those big rims. You can kind of see everything inside here. So I'm not worried about getting all this like totally clean, but you know, this would it being kind of rusty looking and all that. And then that, I don't know. Uh, I just thought it'd be might as well just do it all while it's off it's kind of that that model you know if you're there and it's off you might as well take care of any problems or anything like that that you need to because uh, you probably won't be able to revisit it anytime soon so i just went ahead and got some of this black caliber paint i don't really even know if you need caliber paint but i don't know i kind of thought about that when i bought it i was like could i just use engine enamel paint but anyways whatever i just went ahead and bought it and uh i just kind of tied up the where i put some tape over the brake lines and just some areas that I didn't really want to get paint on. I don't really care about these, the rotors and all that, because I'm going to replace them anyway. Uh, just went ahead and covered up the lug nuts, or excuse me, the, the studs. And this is crazy to me, y'all. I don't know why people just don't fix stuff when it happens. So this is a broken uh, stud. And it's probably okay to, to run... Um, you know all of them except for one stud if you really needed to but i don't know man i don't know maybe somebody was in a rush and they just didn't feel like doing it and just never revisited it but i don't know it's just crazy to me well you know you, you just don't fix it so i don't know anyways i'll uh i'll get a price on that and see what i can do on uh, fixing that hopefully it's not a huge problem but uh let me go ahead and go ahead and paint these up real quick and then i'll, I'll put it back on here anyway. All right, y'all, so that's one light coat there. I'll probably just do a couple light coats and then one third heavier coat and call it good. So I'm not gonna get these like totally uh, perfect. I just want, just to give them a little bit better appearance when the rims are on. So anyways, I'm gonna go back over to the rim and, and finish uh, masking this off real All quick. All right, so I'm out here trying to scrape this stuff off. And if you guys can see, 
So if you look at that really close, it's definitely metal. Um, I mean, you can see how it's sticking. It's sticking to the screwdriver. And, you know, usually screwdrivers have a little sort of um, magnetism to them. You know, when you're taking out screws and stuff, they'll kind of stick to the screwdriver. Uh, so you can definitely tell that metal is sticking to it. So that definitely was it. I was, I was washing them and trying to scrub them off. It scratched the rim when it caught onto the cloth. So I'm just trying to take this screwdriver and it's like even not even really coming off with the screwdriver so i'm just lightly kind of scraping it in the creases here and it's you know a little bit of a struggle to kind of get it off so that was my problem uh, i don't know if i should have took a different approach or whatnot but we'll try to get this one all cleaned up all right so i got some of the sanding done at least on the front side here and then i'm going to flip it over and then uh, do the inside of the barrel um, this is the most tedious because you have to get inside all these creases and whatever. So I wanted to do that first uh, before I attacked the rest since I just have to sand down the barrel. Um, but what I did, since it's already painted, I actually started with a red scotch right pad and found that it was a little too coarse. So then I just went to a, a gray one and uh, that worked just fine. Uh, and some of the areas were... A lot of the brake dust particles was really, really built up. I um, used this and then I went back to the gray to kind of smooth it out. So um, I'm gonna take a quick break real quick, get some water and just get away from this for a second. Uh, but come back, do the inside of the barrel and then wipe it all down. Then I'll be ready all right, for paint. So I got everything masked off and wiped down with alcohol. And Paper towel left some lint. So I got these little tack cloths I'm gonna use to uh, take that off and I'll probably just blow it with air and then go ahead and start painting. So this is what I have. I have this already left over from my last job. So I got this Will Paint gloss black and this gloss clear that I'll probably just put over the paint just for a little bit of added protection. So um, time consuming, yes. Right, first coat and it is already looking better just off one light coat. I just sprayed one really, really light coat. So you'll probably see some patches of uh, scuff marks where I, I did that. But one really light coat first and it's already turning out really, really good. So I'm happy about All this. Right, Third and final coat is on and I am pleased, man. I think this turned out really, really good. Uh, just paint right now, no clear coat, but man it's so so much better than what it was before uh so i'm glad i did it man but it was <coughs> excuse me time consuming but looks a lot better i know it's hard to see in the in the dark here and the glare from the sun but man it looks way way better so i'm gonna let this dry for about an hour and then i'll put this clear on so I got it out here in the front yard because the sun faces this way, so I wanted to get the sun on it. So in the meantime, while that's drying, I got to show you this caliper real quick. So this caliper actually turned out really good. Yeah, and two light coats, one heavy third coat. And uh, yeah, I'm happy with it. So got the top, bottom, and here. I didn't really get the back too much. I just wanted to, the places where you could really, really see. And so, you know, like I said, this uh, vehicle is just my daily but you'll be able to see you know this part of the caliper and then the rotor from uh, inside the wheel so i thought i would just paint it up but yeah man it looks pretty damn good y'all pretty damn good so again just gonna let this wheel dry real quick hit it with this clear then i'll be done all right final look here y'all and I, what i did is i kept <clears throat> half the masking tape on and then half off um and then this is just plastic covering that i have over the center cap but uh, as you can see, man, it turned out pretty dang good. So this right here is a curb mark. I didn't do that. Uh, it came that way. So uh, that's what that is on the face. But man, all this was all scratched up and everything. And now it is nice and smooth and shiny. So it just went with a gloss black and then a gloss black, uh, gloss black paint, gloss black clear coat. Three coats of black two coats of the gloss clear that's about all i had in that can too <laughs> so i was able to to stretch it out 
But yeah, y'all, I think it looks pretty damn good, y'all. A little hard to tell here in the shade, but man, way, way better. I'll take you to the inside of the grill or the uh, barrel here. Hopefully you guys can kind of see, but you can kind of see a little bit of the glisten. All rattle can too. You might as well call me the rattle can specialist because I've done rattle can about every single thing that you could probably think of. <laughs> but uh, yeah, y'all. So anyways, man, that's gonna conclude my video. Uh, man, I didn't think it'd take all day, but it pretty much took all day. <laughs> but I got it done. So anyways, y'all, uh, definitely stay tuned for more. You already know more stuff's coming. I'll figure out something to do. So stay with me, y'all. Like, comment, subscribe, man. Do all that good stuff. Y'all stay safe under this quarantine, man. Stay home as much as you can. But it's, it's, it's those extracurricular activities that uh, not just, uh, you know, a few guys doing, but a lot of people are doing that's going to help uh, hold us back, man, and not get us back to where we need to be. So, man, y'all just be safe out there, especially if you guys are, are out and about, man. Be safe, all right? Deuces. I'm out of here. <laughs>